Hey there everybody, this is Adam Zundel from the Mountain East Conference and welcome to the next Stack Crew tutorial video. In this video, we're going to go over everything around actually scoring the game, importing the opposing team's roster, setting up the game, and then afterwards packing the game file and generating the post-game box scores in HTML and XML formats. As always, I encourage you to follow along with your software and practice at home. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've been asked to score a soccer game. In the last video, we set up a men's soccer directory, so that's what we're going to use for this example. All right, so I'm scoring a men's soccer game. I'm going to go under soccer and into this function, the DOS function. And I can't go to the in game scoring just yet. I need to bring in a roster. So I'm going into utilities. And I actually need to first, I need to see <coughs> if I have the team's roster that I'm playing. So I go into roster maintenance and I'm in my directory, which we set up in the last video, 2010M. So I'm going to go look at my rosters and the only one I have is my team. Okay, so I'm playing Urbana and I need to bring in their team. Now, don't make the mistake of adding a team here. Urbana's already sent me their roster and so I need to import it. All right, so I'm gonna leave this screen here and I'm gonna to go to my email. And as you see, Urbana has sent me their roster and I'm going to download it. Now I need to pay attention to where I am saving this roster because I need to be able to go and find it. Okay, I am going to save this roster in the C drive. Very important to remember that. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. And it's been completed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead out of my email Okay, now remember where we were here. We were in the roster maintenance, but that's not going to help us. We need to go to file maintenance under utilities, still under file maintenance. Okay, what I'm trying to do is import Urbana's roster. So I go to import and export and you'll see some more options here. Import files, import roster. This is exactly what we want. Now, this is why it's important to remember where you saved that roster because this is where it's looking. It's looking for it in the C drive, perfect. That's where I've saved it. If you happen to save it into a downloads folder, it gets a little bit tricky to find that roster. So I encourage you to just save it in your C drive and then import it from there. And it's going to put it in the proper directory, in the proper directory 2010M. Perfect. <clears throat> There's the roster. Now I never want to change this right here, import roster as UU. If I change it to UUM or UUW or UU14, when Urbana goes to bring that roster in. If they don't change this ID, it's going to create a completely different team. So the only way it knows that it's the same team that it sent out is if this is identically the same. Very important to not mess with that, but you can change the team name because this will show up in some other places. You can change it to Urbana. Okay, import successful. And now if we were to go and check our roster maintenance, we should see two teams. And there they are. Okay, so my roster is in, successfully imported. I'm going to back all the way out, and I do that by hitting escape, and then when I can't escape anymore, I can go to quit. So here I am. I am about ready to start scoring this game. Okay, so I hit S. These are generally set up. College soccer is 10 minutes. Okay. Here we go into game setup. Oops, game setup. These first two pieces are what you need to do prior to every game. So I'm going to go into teams and I hit visitor. I'm going to go ahead and make Urbana the visitor and I did that by pressing V. So to, press, to select the home team I'm going to press H and I'm going to hit enter for Mountain East. Okay, now you see that my teams have changed up here. Urbana, UU, and MEC. Okay, and then the game info is pretty straightforward. You can put rankings here if you want. Uh, we can put the records. You need to remember to put in the record and then change it after the game, but in the pre-game report you can just put the the record prior to the game starting, that way it's easier to update. And you can also put the conference record 
as well. So we got a matchup of two of the top teams in the league here. Um, important to remember that the place is the location and the stadium is the actual venue. Um, this is a conference game. These N's stand for no's, and we to change those, we change them to Y's for yes. So it's a conference game, yes. Neutral site, no. Night game, anything starting after 6 o'clock is a night game. Postseason, no. So we put in the start time, and we don't know these things. These are the things we're going to fill out when we wrap the game up. Uh, we can put in the weather. We can put in the referees here, the thirds, timekeepers, and scores. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Okay. And now it's going to ask us to save this file, and the Mountain East Conference has very specific ways of saving this file. And we're going to do for soccer. The naming convention is two-digit month, two-digit day and then home team code, and we've given those to teams in the league, and then a dash M or W. That's the way we know when we're exchanging files, whether it's a men's or a women's game. So we're going to hit M, and we're ready to go. Um, everything else after this is pretty sports specific, um, so uh, we're going to hold off here, and we're going to fast forward to wrapping up the game. Okay, so the game is over. The Mountain East was victorious, one to nothing. All right, the final play has been put in, so we're going to back out of this. And before we save it one more time, we're going to wrap it up, and I've already put some of that data in here. I've updated the game records. It's important that you do that manually. The computer will not know whether you won or lost right here to update your record. So you go and put those in manually, put in the time of the game, and the attendance, and for soccer you put in the goalie and the goalie's records and we're done there. Okay, we're going to give it one last save. And there's the file. And we can be done in the scoring function. So we will escape out of that. Now we're headed back to utilities because we want to send this to our SID friend who sent us the roster earlier, so we're going to go to utilities going to go to File, Maintenance, and what we're going to try to do is pack this file. Again, the packed file contains all of the game data that we're looking for and is necessary to maintain statistics. So I'm going to import and export because we want to export this file. Before we export it, we want to pack it. Okay, so we select Pack the Game File. That's the one that I want to send. Now it's, a very, impor it's very important to know where you are packing this file. So you have to follow this path when you want to go email it. In the C drive, in this folder, in this folder. So that's where we're going to go. It says it's created. Now I'm going to email that file to my SID friend. I'm going to try to attach it. It's, and again, I have to follow that path. So I'm going to go to the computer. C drive, and the packed file has SPK. That's the one that I want to send. And that's how you send the packed file. So we've taken care of that. We could be done in DOS, but we want to generate a couple of box scores maybe for the coaches, put on the website. So we go to the game reports. If you were scoring this yourself at home, you don't have anything to do but find the game. Here it is. Here's the box score. And we can print this straight from here, make it into a PDF, whatever we need to do. Going to make this into an HTML box score. And I'm going to select generate. And again, make sure you understand where this path is. It's going to be in the C drive, in that folder, in the one in the directory we created, and then there's a new folder created, HTML, and there is the file name.htm. 
that's where that's going to live. And specific to sending NCAA and sometimes uploading to sidearm sites or presto sites, you need to do the XML output. Every team in the NCAA has an XML code. That's how you know that Notre Dame College is different from the University of Notre Dame because it has a very specific XML number. That's how the NCAA knows that they are different. So you have to have those in advance, and we have that in the Dropbox directory in the Mountain East Conference share folder. And this is where you put those codes. So I don't know those two codes, but once you do that, you've created the file, and again, here is the folder. Follow this path to find the file. Should be good in here. Back to the email. We're going to attach some more files. We're going to follow the path. We're already in that folder. There's the HTML file. It's attached. So back out, out of that, into the reports. There is the XML file. See, it's the XML document. That should be just about everything that the opposing SID needs on their, ha on their end of things. Just to make sure that we're square, everything came in OK. Let's go ahead and look at the season reports. And it's calculated. It's the only game I have in there, even though I inflated the record of the teams. There it is. So we have successfully set up the game. We imported the roster. We wrapped it up. We packed it. We sent it. We created the, H the HTML and the XML. So a very productive day in this session. And uh, congratulations, you've sent your game file.